Now in this part of the question then, we've got to find the sum to infinity of 5 6 plus 5 18 plus 5 over 54 plus and so on. Okay, so what is actually happening in this series? Well, what we've got is the first term is 5 6 and how did we get the next term, 5 18 from 5 6? Well, what we did was we took 5 6 and we multiplied it by a third. This gives us 5 18 and how do we get 5 18 to become 5 over 54? Well, we multiply 5 18 by another third or we could say that we multiply this term as you see it here which I know is 5 18 by another third. So in other words you've got 5 6 multiplied by a third squared. The next term is going to be 5 6 times a third cubed and so on. All right, so what we've got is a geometric series again. And the common ratio in this particular one is one third. We keep multiplying by one third. The first term A is going to be 5 6 and What's n going to be? Well, n is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's going to tend to infinity. So what we've got to look at is a special formula, the sum of a geometric progression to infinity. Okay, so you should know this particular formula. Well, we've already seen that Sn, the sum of the first ter n terms, is a times 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. Now it's a known fact and you can see this in one of my tutorials that if r lies between minus 1 and 1 and n is a large number this term tends to 0. And in this particular case r is a number between minus 1 and 1 being a third. So for large n, this will go to zero, and what you're left with is a special formula, and that is that the sum to infinity becomes a times just simply 1, which is a, all over 1 minus r, providing, as I say, that r lies between minus 1 and 1. So it is this formula that we use. So all we need to say is that a is the 5 6 so we've got 5 6 divided by 1 minus r so 1 minus the common ratio of a third and if you do this sum what you'll find you get is 5 quarters 504 1.25 I'm just going to leave it as 5 quarters though since they seem to be working in fractions here Okay, so make sure you're familiar with this formula and if you want, as I say, further proof of this, just go along to the, my tutorial on this. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this part of the question.